Hello and welcome. My name is Scott Offerman, sales trainer at Hino Trucks. The following video will help you safely operate your Hino truck. If you have any further questions, please refer to your owner's manual. Thank you. Today's modern commercial vehicles are equipped with many indicators and controls. A thorough understanding as to how they work is essential. As a driver of a Hino truck, it is important to read the owner's manual thoroughly. Following the operating instructions will ensure safe operation of your new Hino truck. A daily inspection should be performed by the driver before or after the day's operation in order to assure safe driving and to prevent problems on the road. Be sure that all necessary repairs, adjustments, and fluid checks have been completed before starting to drive. For detailed information about the maintenance of the vehicle, see section 6-1 in the owner's manual. In this video, the truck is considered to be on level ground with the parking brake set, the engine off, and at ambient temperature. To apply the parking brake, pull on the lever and the parking brake will be applied. To release the parking brake, pull in the lever to release the park brake, then while holding the lever in, push the parking brake down all the way. To apply the parking brake, pull the yellow parking brake control knob out. Use the parking brake control knob for parking purposes only. To release the parking brake, push the yellow parking brake control knob in. The VIN label is affixed to the driver's side door pillar. When ordering replacement parts for your Hino truck, please inform the dealer of the VIN. You can also find the VIN stamped in the left side frame rail at the front of the vehicle. In preparation for raising the hood, it is always recommended to set the parking brake firmly, place the gear shift lever in park or neutral position, and stop the engine. Pull up the right and left hood latches to release the hood. Stand in front of the vehicle and lift up the hood toward the front of the vehicle using the hood grip. Locate the engine oil dipstick to check the oil level. The engine oil level should be kept between the full and add marks. Check the engine oil level when the engine is at operating temperature for a true indication of the oil level. Before checking the coolant level, wait until the engine and radiator are completely cooled down. Do not remove the radiator cap when replenishing the coolant from the reservoir. Do not operate the vehicle with the coolant level low or engine damage may occur. To check the power steering fluid level, remove the filler cap and wipe the dipstick with a clean cloth. Reinstall the filler cap securely. Remove the filler cap again and check the fluid level on the dipstick. If the power steering fluid is on or near the minimum mark, add fluid up to the maximum mark. The brake fluid reservoir is installed on the left side of the engine compartment. Visually check that the brake fluid level is not lower than the bottom ring of the filler neck. If low, fill to the bottom ring of the filler neck. Move the selector lever to the park or neutral position and allow the engine to idle. The engine needs to be at operating temperature. Remove the transmission dipstick and clean. Then reinstall the dipstick and check the fluid level again. The level should be at the cool mark. If the red indicator ring appears in the air cleaner service indicator, replace the air cleaner element using Hino Genuine Parts. Be sure to check the condition of the air cleaner element at the proper service intervals and replace the air cleaner element with a genuine Hino air cleaner. Firmly hold the hood grip and lower the hood slowly. Lock both the right and left hood latches. The windshield washer tank is located on the passenger side floor. Open the passenger side door of the vehicle to visually check the fluid level of the windshield washer tank. If the level is low, slide the washer tank forward from under the seat to add washer fluid. Be sure to check the tire inflation pressure during your daily inspection. While the tires are cold, inflate the tires to the proper cold pressure designated by the tire manufacturer. Adjust the driver's seat so that the foot pedals, steering wheel, and instrument panel controls are within easy reach of the driver. Visually check the seat belts and buckles for damage. The height and the tilt angle of the steering wheel are adjustable. To adjust, 
release the adjusting lever and move the steering wheel up or down, forward or backward as desired. After adjustment, be sure to lock the adjusting lever. To adjust the mirrors, turn the key to the on position. Select the desired mirror and adjust the angle by using the selector switch. For manual adjustment, please refer to section 2-51 of the owner's manual. This switch is used to get rid of frost and fogging of the mirrors. When the switch is pushed, the indicator light comes on and the rear view mirrors start to be warmed. Be sure to turn the switch to the off position after use. Before starting the engine, always apply the parking brake firmly and place the gear shift lever in neutral or park position. To start the engine, turn the key to the start position. Your vehicle is equipped with warning lights in the instrument cluster. The warning lights turn on when the key is turned to the on position. If the warning lights will not go off after starting the engine, contact your Hino dealer to have the vehicle inspected. The fuel gauge indicates the approximate fuel level in the tank. The gauge only registers when the key is in the on position. The DEF gauge shows the approximate level of DEF in the tank. When the tank is full, eight indicator bars are illuminated. In order to maintain proper functioning of the DEF SCR system, always replenish the DEF tank immediately when the DEF light on the instrument cluster illuminates. Use a clean funnel for the replenishment of DEF and use API certified DEF only. Never replenish the tank with diesel fuel, kerosene, gasoline, or any other fluid. To start a manual regeneration, stop the vehicle in a safe place with the engine running. Place the selector lever in park or neutral position and apply the parking brake. Push the blinking DPR manual regeneration switch in the center of the dash. The DPR indicator light and the switch light will remain illuminated during regeneration and the engine idle speed will increase. DPR manual regeneration will be complete in approximately 15 to 20 minutes and the regen indicator lights will go off. The engine idle speed will return to normal when complete. Allow air pressure to build until the pointer reading on the air pressure gauge reaches a governed pressure of 135 PSI. A drop in air pressure indicates a possible leak. If a leak is detected, contact your Hino dealer. To turn the lights on, move the lever to the first position. The exterior lights and instrument lights will be illuminated with the exception of the headlights. To turn on the headlights, turn the lever to the second position. For high beams, push the lever forward. Lift up on the lever for flash to pass operation. Daytime running lamps, if equipped, are turned on when the park brake is released and the lever is in the off or first position. The windshield wiper switch has four control positions, high, low, intermittent, and off. Select the switch position appropriate for the weather conditions. To activate the hazard lights, lift up on the lever and check that the hazard lights outside of the vehicle and on the instrument cluster blink. When the lever is pulled up again, the lights will go off. To operate the exhaust brake, pull the lever down. This will apply the exhaust brake as the accelerator pedal is released. The indicator light on the instrument cluster shows that the exhaust brake is operating. Exhaust braking will be temporarily canceled during the following situations. When the clutch pedal is depressed, when the transmission is in neutral position, when the ABS is active under heavy braking, and when the engine speed decreases to idle or 750 RPMs. The air suspension dump switch can be used to assist in loading and unloading the vehicle. Operating the switch lowers the frame height at the rear of the truck. This device locks the rear differential. Its use should be limited to situations where the vehicle is being driven on unpaved, rough, snowy, frozen, or other slippery surfaces where one of the wheels of the driving axle may begin to spin. Stop the vehicle before you operate the switch. Lift the cover of the differential lock switch. 
Press on to lock the differential. When activated, the information display will indicate the differential lock system is on. Press off at the lower part of the switch to release the differential lock. Never operate the vehicle at more than 25 miles an hour while the differential lock is on. To check the horn, turn the key to the on position. Push the electric horn button or air horn button and confirm that it works properly. Press and hold the cruise control system switch and the cruise control system on light will illuminate. To set a road speed, press the set switch. Pressing and holding the resume switch will increase vehicle speed while pressing and holding the set switch will decrease vehicle speed. Cruise control is turned off when the cruise control system switch is pressed for at least 0.5 seconds and the light turns off. With the cruise control switch on and the parking brake set, the engine idle speed can be varied with the set and resume switch. To increase the engine speed, press and hold the resume switch. To decrease the engine speed, press and hold the set switch. After driving, drain the water from the air tank by opening the drain cock lever. In cold weather, drain water from the air tank before and after driving to help reduce freezing of the system. The engine block heater will help keep the engine warm overnight during cold weather conditions. Simply plug an extension cord into the receptacle and connect to a 120 volt standard electrical outlet. From all of us at Hino, we want to say thank you for taking the time to better understand your Hino truck. Please remember to refer to the vehicle's owner's manual or your local Hino dealer if you have any further questions.